driving into the neighborhood. Just thought I would see how it looked with um, my accidental dash cam. I had, uh, hopefully I'm recording my voice loud enough. I had uh, got a mount for my phone and put this in. And uh, when I put my phone in, I turned the camera on and I realized that it actually makes a pretty decent dash cam. And if I reverse it, it actually gets a pretty good shot of my face. I'll do that later. But um, it's kind of off to the side, but it gives me a really good side view. So, anyway, so if I want a really good left view, I got that. I guess I'd have to turn it, try and turn it if I want to see the other side. But anyway, so not much to talk about today. Just coming back from taking my son, Junior, to see his girlfriend, which if you're following the story, would eventually become Auntie, to Bean, who right now is not Bean in the sense of the story yet, because he's not even a full year old. When the story picks up, Bean is... Um, nine years old so right now you know Bean is almost four months um, Junior is uh, learning to drive so he drove over there and I dropped him off and he'll be picking up later because uh, no they're just dating but uh, don't know if you know they're actually going to get married but if they do that will become one of Bean's aunties, and uh, we'll see. But anyway, this is the neighborhood that we live in, a place in Southern Maryland. Really nice neighborhood. People are very friendly. Pretty nice day. Start of spring. Again, my name is Ben Underwood Sr. In the story, I am the Pop Pop, Grandpa. I guess the story I could talk about today is how I came up with Pop Pop, and that's actually what Bean is going to be calling me, or what we call me, and Nana is what we actually call my wife, his grandma, and his her mom, my mother-in-law, is grandma because she's been grandma to uh, to my grandkids, to, to, I mean to her grandkids, to uh, to Bean's mom and such so she's just going to continue to be grandma and my wife was like no I, i'm not going to be a grandma i i you know she didn't want to be nana either but since that was kind of her nickname because of her sister couldn't pronounce her name she unfortunately decided she was just kind of decided for her that she would become um she would unofficially become nana and since nana and pop pop kind of go together that's that's how we arrived there. So, and then one day, I don't know if you guys ever saw it, but the first picture I shared when I started this story was of the shed. So in the beginning of the story, it talks about the shed. That's uh, where it all started was with the shed. And uh, That shed gave me the idea for something dark and mysterious being hidden, and uh, through that, I said, uh, well, what if there was something hiding in there, something evil, something that was, you know, scaring uh, being, and uh, went from there. Because um, Benji, uh, my, my son, Junior, has always hated going in the shed, you know, afraid of bugs or whatever, but what if it wasn't just bugs? Um, you know, so, just decided to see where it went, um, so, there's Nana, there's Pop Pop, and the agents of Abdael, Abdael means, um, servant of God, so, 
the idea is that um, this angel, this servant of God has chosen um, humans to help him uh, guard this portal, this gate, this um, prison that Shaitan or the devil has been locked in. And uh, this house was built there and the, the shed was built on top of it. And somehow Bean got in there. And Bean uh, somehow managed to break the seal. You know, it's not explained fully how that happened. That's not really what's important. What's important is the consequences. Um, so, and that's where we pick up. So, again, and then the, today what I was talking about was... Um, how we got to Nana and Papa. So Nana, you know, I said, is my wife. We decided that that would fit us because, of course, she's been Nana. That's a nickname I've used, so it's easy for me to call her that. And Pop was something that my son called me. He still calls me Pop. Um, and we we went through, we cycled through a lot of different possibilities for names. Um, we thought about even, uh, because I have German ancestry, maybe Opa and Oma. Thought about... Um, other little cutesy nicknames, but um, yeah, and we didn't want, I didn't like the idea of mismatched ones. I thought about Big Mom and Big Daddy, that was the ones that my grandparents were. Um, but you know, she said no, that was there's only one Big Mom and one Big Daddy, um, and of course, there's only one grandma, and her, her grandfather, my wife's grandfather, was grandpa, so there's only one grandpa. And uh, so eventually we just we just settled on Nana and Pop Pop and it kind of fits. And uh, for Bean's other grandparents, um, which he has two sets because his dad, um, his dad's parents had a divorce and they both remarried, so. Um, his dad has a stepmom and a stepdad, so I'm not quite sure what their names or nicknames are, but, um, you know, in the story, concentrate more on this half of the family. I'm not sure if eventually there'll be more added, but, again, family names, you know, for me, Big Mama, Big Daddy, that names, those names came about because when I was little, I had five grandmothers. There was, uh... Grandmommy Lafferty, Big Mama, which is my mother's mother, um, Grandmommy Hogan, which was my grand my uh, grandfather's mother, um, and uh, uh, I can't remember the other ones, but there was so many that just Big Mom, uh, my mother's mother became Big Mama. <laughs> it was funny because she was the shortest one, so uh, it was kind of a joke, but. Uh, she was an important part of my life, and that's why one of the reasons she became an important part of my wife's life, which is one of the reasons she became the only big mama. My wife didn't feel comfortable taking that moniker or that nickname for herself. I don't know. I, I thought it would have been kind of an homage or an honor to take those names for us because Bean didn't know them, and then we could have explained later on what they meant to us and how important they were to us, but she didn't want to, so I understand. So, that's where part of Nana, Nana, Nana and Pop Pop came from, because it's a part of our lives. And so, yes, some of the characters in the story are based upon real-life characters, but of course with twists, because we're not out here fighting demons. And, uh, you know, there is no prison in our backyard. <laughs> No prison in our backyard where Satan is, is locked up. And, um, we don't, um, we don't have any of that going on. But, uh, hopefully you're enjoying the story or have enjoyed the story and you're going to share it with friends, family, and loved ones. And if you have questions or comments, feedback, I'd love to hear it. Um, and please, please share. Um, I'm really interested in trying to publish it, and I'm trying to get the second half or second part. Um, I'm trying to continue it, and 
Um, I don't know if it would necessarily be finishing it, but I do think that there is a bigger part to this. This first part that I have put out, which, you know, kind of ends with finding out some important information. Um, the other part continues it. And I think will be climatic in a sense that I don't want to describe in case you haven't. You know, you, you started to read it and then you found this video and you're like, oh, you know, I don't want to spoil anything. So, and I might have spoiled some things already. So hopefully I haven't and I've just piqued your interest and you want to go read and you want to explore. And hopefully some of the pictures, I have some artists that I really, really love their work. Um, and in fact, some of them are in the story. Um, the one that is referred to as mom, which is Bean's mom, is one of them. Zaddy, um, which is Bean's um, aunt, is in there. She is a wonderful, wonderful artist. Um, she is, is hopefully going to be doing some work for us and getting some art out there. So hopefully that will be published either on YouTube or if I can get the book, get a book printed. So you can see some of what is in my mind and the way I envision it and things of that nature. Again, but I'd love feedback. I'd love to know what you like, what you didn't like, uh, questions that you have. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great day and a great weekend or whenever you're watching this. And Jesus bless you. Bye-bye.